as you guys can see we are running assassin's creed on our android devices yo what's up guys it's atrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at an alternative version of winlater android this version is also known as winlater cn and it has some major improvements which will be upcoming in the normal version of winlater android now let me talk about winlater cn this simulator is the updated version of winlater 1.1 with additional features and experimental features along with better performance in some games good support for android devices let's just talk about the minimum requirements for the simulator android 10 or above that's about it so with that being said let's get started through today's video and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest emulator updates all right guys let's get started through today's video first of all uh, let me show you guys that i have already added win later 1.1 cn version on my android device if you check the about this app info you will see version is still showing 1.1 but the main difference which you'll notice in this version and our normal winlater 1.1 is the fact that there are some changes in the emulator itself. So setting up this emulator is pretty simple. Just like the normal winlater, all you have to do is create an container. These options will be similar to normal winlater. But if we just go ahead and take a look at DX wrapper, then the major change you'll notice is that there is no DXVK 1.1 or 2.2 available. You just have wine versions. So that's the difference between winlater 1.1 normal version and CN version along with some optimizations and gameplay improvements which i'll talk about later on in today's video while we take a look at the gameplay as well so let me show you guys the settings which you should enable just make sure to tick mark all the cpus afterwards scroll down gpu name you can keep it at gtx 470 or 1070 doesn't really matter video memory will be using 4 gb once that has been done uh, just go to dx wrapper and select the wine version which you'd like to use personally i like to go with wine 8.2 or 8.0 versions i haven't really tested out the wine 8.5 or wine 7.11 so you guys can test it out and let me know in the comment section down below if it is better than wine 8.0 and 8.2 once you have selected your dx wrapper all you have to do is tick mark and it will create an container but afterwards all you have to do is just go ahead and tap here and tap on run uh, it will take some time to initialize this new container in this version uh, you will get a prompt saying wine configuration uh, is being updated please wait so all you have to do is just wait for a minute or two all right wine has successfully loaded and now we can take a look at additional features so if we just head on over to the start section let's tap here if we head on over to the other section you will see video physics visual c as well which is pretty great and if we just go to registry here you will be able to modify renderer so you can go with opengl or vulkan this is a really really amazing feature i'll choose vulkan uh, for the best amount of performance possible let's open start again and let's go to registry the other options are as follows we have pixel shader mode and much much more so you can modify all these to improve your performance uh, in win later android and I'm guessing that all these features will be coming to the normal version of WinLater Android as well pretty soon. Uh, so when that happens, I'll be uploading a video where I talk about the best settings for WinLater Android to get maximum amount of FPS possible. And let's just jump right into the gameplay. Once you open the game, it will take around few seconds for it to start. This is the gameplay with all default configuration and at the top left side, you will be able to see the FPS bar. But there we go guys, our game has successfully started. Now all we have to do is just press back again, toggle full screen uh, and make sure to enable input controls as well i'll be using rts pro because i am not using any kind of on-screen custom touch controls profile so we'll tap ok and you can see at the top left side we are getting more than 60 fps at least during this cutscene and it is looking pretty good but we'll just go ahead and tap on enter and skip this cutscene assassin's creed press any key to continue we'll tap on enter again now you'll immediately notice some sort of frame drops so it is to be expected anyways the loading appears to have been completed and let's see the moment of truth how well does this game actually work around 4 fps now and there we go the game has successfully started now i do know the reason why i'm getting so poor fps uh, that's because of my adreno 7 series gpu unfortunately it's not really optimized uh, but if i use my xiaomi 11t pro i am pretty sure that i'll get better fps uh, probably way better by the way 10 to 15 fps to each to be expected uh, but what we are seeing right here is assassin's creed running on our android devices with the help of winlater android and that in itself is really amazing so in my next upcoming winlater android videos i'll be using a different android device and be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification to stay up to date with all the latest emulation news so see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out